Hello and welcome to today's video. Today I'm going to be showing you everything that I've picked up makeup and beauty related wise from Primark. This is my big bag of things I picked up. I believe there's 28 items that I picked up from Primark. I did get these from the Primark in Birmingham, which apparently is like the world's biggest Primark. So I hope that you enjoy this video. The first thing I picked up was this creamy cleanser. So this is their cleanser with vitamin E and organic rose. It says it's good for all skin types, including sensitive skin. And this set me back two pounds and I've not tried out any of their cleansers before, so I've got no idea how this is gonna work out. It doesn't really have too much of a fragrance, which is good because I don't really like heavily scented cleansers. But yeah, really excited to give this one a go. The next thing I picked up was actually this bath tea. So these are like bath salts with other bits of, I think it's dried flowers. Um, but this is their rose bath tea. And as you can see, this was actually reduced to one pound from two pound 50. So this looks really interesting actually. This says place two to four scoops of bath tea in the reusable organza drawstring bag, steep in bath water and enjoy. And I just thought this looked a bit more interesting than your usual bath salts. So that smells really, really lovely. And this is the little bag that you get inside. So you just put the scoop of the bath salts in here you do actually also get a mini <laughs> scoop and then just leave that to I suppose brew in your bath I think even at £2.50 this is definitely worth checking out next up I got this crushed pigment and this is in the shade raspberry and they did have a few of these so this was £1.50, but I just thought that this raspberry one looked like a really, really nice and interesting shade. And that's what it looks like close up. So really, really interested by this shade. And that's it just swatched on my hand. I don't think the camera really does it justice. It's definitely quite a subtle pink with a really nice shimmer in it. I think this will be a really gorgeous eyeshadow either on its own or like a really nice topper shade and I think for £1.50 well I think it's really good value so yeah excited to try this out on an eyeshadow look. Next up I actually got a selection of face masks so these were all ATP each and to be honest there was such a massive selection of these face masks that it was quite hard to just not pick them all and I know for ATP I probably could have got those but I've got to draw the line somewhere. But the first one I got is this charcoal one. So this is charcoal mud, pore refining facial mask with activated charcoal and volcanic ash. And it says that these are all made in Korea. And I know that Korean beauty is like a really massive thing. I do really love a face mask. Normally on a Sunday, I'll have like a nice bubble bath, do a mask and just relax for the week ahead. So this one looked really interesting. I haven't ever had a charcoal mask before. The next one is this hydrating rose water cream mask. I feel like I've got a lot of rose products. I think the cleanser was rose, the bath tea is rose, and this is rose. So completely coincidental. I don't have a huge obsession with rose scented items. And the final one is this Japanese matcha face mask. And this says that this soothes the skin. I don't know why it's got a picture of a man here. I just really liked the thought of it. I thought that the matcha tea fragrance sounded interesting and just thought I would give this one a go as well. Next up, I just picked up this two pack of just black pencil eyeliners. These were a pound for two and you do get a sharpener as well. I think this was really good value. You can never be without a black eyeliner. And I haven't tried out the Primark ones before, so I thought I'd give these a go. Again, just sticking with the eyeliner theme, I have got another duo. So this time there is a white eyeliner pencil and a nude eyeliner pencil. Another sharpener, which is good because if I lose one, then I've got a backup. This is what both of these pencils look like up close. So look like they're gonna be quite nice pencils. Next up, I just picked up a couple of lipsticks. So I've got this nude matte lipstick here and I've got a similar nude luster 
lipstick here so these were this one was £1.50 this is the matte one and the lustre one was 90p I actually really like the packaging so for the matte one the packaging actually feels really matte definitely feels more high end this is what the lipstick looks like so just a standard nude matte lipstick you can never have too many of these really can you this matte one's shade name is naked flame onto the luster one now this and this is in the shade barely there next up from primark i just got this selection of nail files i just thought these looked really eye-catching and really fun as you can see these were a pound for all four and yeah i just thought <laughs> They looked really cute, loved the galaxy feel. They did have a few different selections of these, but this one is just the one that really stood out to me. Next, I actually picked up this hair mask. So this, I think, was probably one of the pricier items at £3.50. And this is from their, like, natural range. This just says conditioning hair treatment mask. Uh, with baobab oil, organic coconut oil and shea butter for soft and smooth hair. So I thought that that sounded really nice. It's got a really, really gorgeous fragrance actually. So I can't wait to use that on my hair. Next up, I thought I would give Primark Mascara a go. This is their Billion Dollar Lashes Mascara. And I think the packaging is really nice. It definitely makes the product feel a bit more high-end than Primark. This mascara was £3, which I think is probably the cheapest price I've ever paid for a mascara. Uh, but this promises instant volume and curled lashes and supposedly has 16 hour wear. So this is the actual tube. So again, just feels like quite a nice heavy duty mascara. It's got a really nice wand actually. But yeah, from what I can see, it looks like this is gonna be quite a good mascara. The only way I will obviously know for certain is by trying it out. So keep your eyes peeled. I'm sure there will be a whole separate video of me trying everything out. Next up, I got this really cute, just matte single eyeshadow. This was 90p and this is the shade Sweet Honey. So yellow is my absolute favorite color. And when I saw this single shade, I thought, I have to get that. I really liked the look of this one. It's got quite a nice shade to it. I wouldn't necessarily say the color payoff is amazing, but for 90p, this looks like this could be quite a buildable shade. It's not coming across too chalky, even though it is a matte shade. And again, for 90p, can't really go wrong. Next up, I actually got these two bath fizzers. So I can't believe that these were only 50p each. And feeling inside the packet, they are quite a good size. So this first one here is tropical. So pretty much speaks for itself. And the other one I got was berry. So again, it's just, I think they're just round by the feel of the packet. I really like berry fragrance and I really like tropical fragrance. So that's why I picked out these two. And just sticking with the bath fizzer theme, I saw this and I just had to get it. I love Lilo and Stitch and how cute is this little box? So this was four pounds this time and you get two bath fizzers in here. It's just tied up with this really nice string. These this time are both coconut fragrance and I won't open it up, but you can see here, one says Aloha and one is a leaf. I just thought that these were really cute and fun and different and it was definitely the packaging that got me on this. The next item I got is this micellar water. So this is 90p and this is their PS micellar cleansing water with vitamin E and organic rose. So it's the same as the other cleanser I've got. I have actually used this before. I kid you not, this is just as good as the Garnier one and it is a fraction of the price. It is suitable for all skin types, including sensitive skin, which is the skin that I have. And it doesn't irritate my skin at all. It doesn't sting if I get it in my eyes. It is literally just as good as the Garnier sensitive micellar water. And to go with that, I know I'm trying to use reusable wipes much more often, but I did pick up these organic 
cosmetic pads these are again from their ps naturals range and these were 90p for 50 pads yeah i mean they're just they're just a good all-round staple product really now the next item i did tell myself i wasn't going to buy any eyeshadow palettes because i don't know if you can see behind me but I have quite a big collection of eyeshadow palettes, but I saw this really cute smoky palette here and this was only two pounds. I don't think I actually have a standalone smoky palette and I just thought that the shades looked really pretty and just thought it would be really good to create some great smoky eye looks with. Next up, I have got this primer and this was four pounds and this is their Prep and Perfect brightening primer with banana extract and this promises to moisturize and illuminate skin and provides an instant glow. They had a whole range of these all in different colored tubes in Primark and I think it was just the banana extract really that spoke to me. It doesn't really have a fragrance of any kind so yeah looking forward to trying this one out as well. Next I have got this matte foundation and this is their natural medium coverage matte finish foundation and I got this in the shade porcelain. There weren't any testers so I just really had to guess what shade I would be. This was £3 and I thought worst case scenario it's too light and I can just mix it with another one of my foundations because obviously I don't want it to go to waste. But I haven't ever tried Primark foundation so interested to see how this goes. Next up I actually picked up two different concealers. So this is the first one and this was 90p and this is their concealer stick and again I got this in the shade porcelain to go with the foundation. I haven't ever tried a concealer stick. I do normally go for the liquid concealers and I thought for 90p I would try this out and the next one I got was a liquid concealer this time. This one was £2 and again in the shade porcelain. I don't mind having a lighter concealer because obviously it just helps to brighten up my under eye anyway so if this one is a little bit too light then it's not going to be the end of the world we're almost at the end but the next item is actually this blush and this is in the shade secrecy and cost one pound so it says it's a high pigment blusher i like the look of this blush it looks like quite a nice soft pink i'll just swatch it that's what we're getting on my hand. So I wouldn't say it's a really high pigment blush, but for a pound, it looks like it's gonna do a nice job. Next, just back to the hair products, and I picked up another hair mask. This time I got it in this packaging similar to the face mask, and this was only 60p for this one. So this is the Smooth and Sleek smoothing hair treatment mask with keratin complex and this helps to soften and tame and is for all hair types and I just thought that this sounded quite nice thought for the price it seemed really really good value this is the second to last item in this Primark makeup and beauty haul and this is their vinyl liner waterproof precise flick and this was two pounds so this is the brush. It looks really quite fine and there isn't too much product that's come out on the tip. My worry normally with liquid eyeliner is that it's really too wet and too liquidy and you have to keep your eye open for like 10 minutes whilst it dries. But I've heard good things about this one and for two pounds I thought I would give it a go. And this is the final item in this Primark haul and this is this little set of liquid lipsticks and there's four in here and these were four pounds and I picked up the peach edit but I thought that these looked like they would be quite safe neutral shades and you know therefore would just go with any makeup look. So I don't think each individual one has its own shade, but this is the applicator and then this is the packaging. And that is everything I picked up from the Primark makeup and beauty range. I really hope that you enjoyed this haul and I will try to just pop details for all of the items in the description, just so if you do want to go and check them out in your local Primark, you can. I will be doing another video just testing everything out or at least testing out the makeup products and 
seeing how I get on with those. So do keep an eye out for that on my channel. I really hope that you did enjoy this video and enjoyed this haul. If you did, please do give the video a big thumbs up, leave a comment. And if you are new to my channel, please consider subscribing and I'll see you again in my next video.